Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday. I want to share with you. Welcome to Faith Boost uh, Saturday edition. Earlier today, the Lord brought a word in my heart, and I want to share with us um, the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. It talks about do not conceal your sin. He who conceals his sin will not prosper. So, in that scripture, he who conceals his sin uh, will not prosper. That that is like um, a straight um, revelation that the Lord already know that we're gonna at some point we're gonna you know mess up. We're gonna sin, but provision has been made for our sins through the blood of Jesus. And He said that concealment of sin hinders prosperity that's basically so he said but he who confesses his sin he who confesses it and renounces it so it's not enough for me to confess my sin it, i have to renounce my sin because these days well there's a lot of endorsement of iniquity i see the word of god is the the bad guy and we are the good guy imagine you know this pot I'm washing now, telling me what to do with it, or, or what kind of food I need, I must cook with it. The pot is mine, I bought it with my money, right? I can use this pot anyhow I see fit. The God, God made us, and he has blueprints, and he has guidelines, right? So, he, there's a way we ought to function, but when we violate those God's way, that's what sin is. Sin, sin is violating God's laws and principles and precepts, and we don't have to stay there. You see, we, the devil wants us to conceal. God doesn't want us to conceal because concealing means we stay in the dark, and that's where the devil thrives. The devil thrives in the dark. He, like, he, he wants us, oh, don't confess it. Like if you go to James chapter 5, I believe from verse 14 to 16, talks about if anyone, you know, if anyone is um, sick, sin makes us sick. Sin demotes us. So he's saying when, if you're sick, sin, if you have sin, ask for the elders, confess your sin and ask for the elders to pray for you. So I don't know if there's anything, um, as examine myself, Lord, already examine myself you examine yourself is there anything the devil is telling you to conceal you got it you don't nobody will know that at some point at some point the lord said don't conceal your sins do not conceal because it hinders your prosperity and that's why the devil wants us to stay in the place of concealment of sin but the bible said the lord wants us to what he say confess so there's concealment the sea confess do not conceal your sin. Expose it to the light of Jesus. The, Jesus has already paid for every kind of sin. The Jesus said the only kind of sin that cannot be forgiven is against the Holy Ghost. Beside that, every sin has been paid for. So we must be careful not to sin against the Holy Ghost. But the, do not conceal your sin. I don't know if there's anything that you are concealing. The Bible says, Confess it and renounce it. Forsake it. That's another way. So, I pray that the Lord will help us to examine ourselves that we not be concealers of sin, but we will bring it to light so that the Lord will deal with it because um, forgiveness is already available. Our provision for sin is already available because Jesus already paid for all of it don't let the devil if there's something you watch in the secret or something you're doing in the secret and you know you know as a believer your heart is pounding you want to you know you don't want anybody to catch you you know if there's something in your house you don't want anybody to know that is there you don't remember that the holy spirit is with you you are never alone um, I think when I start getting aware of that, it helps me. Like, even like you want to talk to somebody, maybe you want to say something that is not good, you want to, you know, gossip or something or get angry, you realize, oh, you're being, being conscious and aware of the presence of 
God intentionally keeps us away from trouble. So um, I pray that we will not conceal. I pray that you and I will expose the enemy into because the Bible says Jesus is the light that darkness cannot comprehend. So the, what we need to do is bring that sin bring that if you want to prosper if we want to prosper that is the instruction do not conceal your sin say confess it confess it out and what and forsake it say renounce to renounce something is to let say you know not 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 agree with that in anymore let it go so that is basically what i got from that was, you know, put in my spirit earlier today. Um, so I, 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 I pray that you and I will um, take a, take a, a quick stock, you know, and ask the Holy Spirit to help us not to conceal, because that's where the devil thrives. The devil thrives in darkness. Um, I had a conversation with somebody not long ago. And after that conversation, maybe a, a week or so, not sure if you, no, it was not a week. It didn't take, I, I also had the Holy Spirit, you know, my heart, like, you need to go to that person and apologize to them. And I was like, apologize? Yeah, it, everything we discussed was, you know, there wasn't anything bad or, it just said that um, the way the conversation went, what poison poison they say you know it might not be a issue for you but you don't want the enemy to use that as an avenue to poison the person's you know spiritual system to, po to poison their mind so i went to the person and i share with the person as like you know this is what i had i'm sorry you know um the conversation went this way the way it went and the person too was like, yeah, I, I'm sorry too. I feel like you kind of triggered it because so that's, you know, kind of the thing we always have to ask the Lord to examine us um, because the devil really wants us to stay in the dark. He wants us to conceal. So we are like, oh, I don't want people to think this way. I don't want people to talk about me. The truth of the matter is the Bible said that when we confess our sins, and forsake it will be forgiven and so it's better that we do it now than that we have time than when we if we don't do it and get to before god there's no more opportunity to expose the enemy we're not exposing ourselves when we confess our sins if somebody want to use it against you is is their immaturity is because the sin they're using against you you have already been forgiven about it so i'm not saying you should go around going to everybody you see confessing your sin no there are you confess it and there are people you need to um you need to you need to have them hold you accountable there are people you need to have them hold you one of the people you must report yourself to are your pastors you have a, a father in destiny you have a mother in destiny the shepherd god has put over your life as a child of god you need to report yourself um, and hold yourself accountable to them. The devil is the one that tell you, oh, must you, must you, yes, you must. You must bring, your, you are the light. You must bring yourself into the light. That's what the scripture says in that James 5. He said, confess your sin, go to the elders, confess your sins, and and you'll be prayed for, and you'll be healed, and your sins will be forgiven. You know, we're a generation of independence. It was how the devil, you know, God, Adam and Eve in, into trouble in Genesis chapter 3 and when man decided to declare independence um, you know out of what God has the structure God has put and that's our generation we don't like structure we want to be independent but in the kingdom we are supposed to be dependent and you, you know you are in the local church the right church God has for you then you submit to your um, the pastor the shepherd if you call them whatever you call them, but you know, these are the authority God has put me under. So you submit to that structure. Our, our generation don't like that. So don't conceal any sin. Do not conceal it because it will hinder your prosperity. The Lord help us in Jesus name.